the New Yorker. Things happened. They couldn't actually uh, f uh, pull through with it, but it is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Things were working against them. You hate to see it, but what we are going to see, maybe characters you hate, we have Lucario versus Diddy Kong. Yeah, I love both these characters. We got Infernape here using Diddy Kong, and we got UBL on the Lucario. Actually living up to a chimp namesake. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, Stage Hazard, I see you. <laughs> uh, he's a homie. But uh, Thank you for solving, Stage Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed that. But uh, Lucario versus Diddy Kong, not a matchup you see too often, I want to say. At least not in this game. Smash 4 Lucario was a little more common because uh, he had things about him that were, I'm going to say, it, it's 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 been like five, six years, I can say it. Blatantly unfair. About to say, Aura plus Rage, that must have been a terrible combination. In Smash still, 4. It's still a thing in this game, but nowhere near as right. Yeah, for sure. And and we played two stock back then, which I oh, cannot believe. Oh. I cannot believe we did that. That makes me mad looking back at VODs, but different time, Dark Era is over. Yeah. What do you think about Lucario in Ultimate? You know, where Not where what they he stand? used to be. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, with them. We have a prominent PR player now named Vivi. They got their start in this game using primarily Lucario. So we know what's up with this character. They're kind of cheeky. They're going to fish for uh, wave bounces and right. hopefully probably get the uh, Aura Sphere charge confirms into imagination, practically. Right, right. Infernape here using the banana. Okay, I like the, the action. I like the banana pulling to back air. That was cute. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Diddy in this matchup can just be super oppressive against Lucario. Get those combos started using Banana or pulling Banana at will because, you know, you could really figure out when Lucario is about to approach. It's not a not a secret. And then catching those counters is going to be something that you want to look out for if UBL starts to abuse it. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Double team is one of the more interesting counters in that it doesn't scale with, like, the, the strength of the move used against it, it scales by the user's own aura. So mm. if you hit with like like the Hail Mary fully charged S mash or a jab, you're dying at the same percent. Right, right. And uh, percents are high for UBL, so oh man, <laughs> watch yourself. Yeah. Look for Diddy to start fishing for those down tilts or just throw the raw banana and up smash you to have get to, it done. That, that's saying you have to respect. For sure. You have to respect banana in all games, really. Like, there, I don't think there's been a version of Diddy Kong that's been a bad character. They've been consistently at least high tier. Yeah, absolutely. But in Ultimate, where you can act out of a dash and buffer options, like, especially out of item throw, mm. uh, you have to definitely be careful about things like that. Wow, getting tricky here on stage with the He took B. 6% to deal, I think, what, what was that, 46? Are you gone? No, not yet. Post, but, but yeah. no cigar. A down air. Oh, Ooh. And it, oof. That was hard to watch. Man, I've been in that position many times getting spiked by Diddy. It's not fun. Man said, hey, check out what I can do in the air. Cartwheels. Boom. Yep. <laughs> I do not know why that particular down air is one of the strongest spikes in the game, but it is, and it upsets me. Rightfully so, because it's just such a cool dare. <laughs> he just clasps both his hands and says, see ya, good night. There's some ferocity in that yeah, move. For sure. And, do, and I don't know if you're aware of the thing of spikes in this game specifically, where if you get spiked for whatever reason, couldn't tell you why, the blast zone actually comes up to meet you on the way down. I did not know that, but it is it makes disgusting. A ton of sense. Yep. It's gross. It's why characters like Ivysaur. Right. Like uh, Pyra can get away with dares that ledge and you just die at like sub 40% sometimes. The camera boundary becomes the blast zone. Yep, exactly. <laughs> it's heinous. Why would they do this? Oh, we are at we are on Kalos now. Ooh. Super a stage where you won't be seeing that as often. Right, right. Because the floor is so low. But uh that's not saying Inferno still can't make the magic happen. Yeah, for sure. Going to be interesting to see how both players utilize the wall clings on this stage because both actually can do it, right? Yes, they can. That's yeah. one thing these characters have in common, I think, with Squirtle and Bayonetta. I don't think any Ultimate Newcomer got that ability. Yeah, interesting. 
But let's see how this one goes. And we Sheik. I forgot Sheik. Oh, Sheik. True, true. But we got a pretty even percent happening right now in game two. Let's see if UBL could mount some sort of offense to get on the board here. So much tricky movement by Diddy, too. You know, it's tough to really get a get a read on what Diddy is doing. You know, you got players like Aaron, Tweak, really showing how it's done as far as tricking people up with just movement. Diddy is far from an uncommon character, I want to say. Not, yeah. He's definitely not like the Rob of the game or right, any, anywhere right. near close to that, but uh, Diddy pops up often enough where most players are aware of things that he wants to do versus yeah. Lucario, like, Say this is the first open oh, board. Oh, yep, you're out of here. Like some of the most seasoned players might fall for exactly that because, yep. oh, you can you can uh, command grab out of Orange Fear Charge. I didn't know that. I certainly didn't know that, but that is really cool to see. I've gotten hit by it too many times not to know it. It infuriates me, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, high ceiling, going to make sure that we'll be able to live a little longer, which is not great for Infernape. Oh no, no sir. Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, no, still living. We are. We got some Would high ceilings Ford here. Would Smash have done it? Potentially, potentially. Sports Smash have more. Or even even if. Probably would have got it if you, like, down tilted first and then uh, ran the up smash. Yeah. Just to prop them up a little bit higher. True, true. I haven't seen uh, UBL picked up the banana there. That could have led to much worse. UBL really making the most out of this stock. Just trying to avoid Diddy at all costs. And, and that's not what you want damage. to that's not what you want to have happen as his opponent. Yeah, for sure. Oh wow. That was all right, interesting. Good on, on Fernie for calling that out. Yeah, for sure. I did not know Lucario could up B straight into the wall and just hang there. Yeah, it's uh doesn't come up often because I mean how often do you Alright, just slamming down down air is like no tomorrow. Yeah. It's hello. like if I can't kill with this, I'm gonna use it to reset. And Fernabe not giving us any time to process what we're seeing on the stage here. Oh. Okay, okay. Watch your feet. Oh, gets him again with the barrels. I've been seeing a lot more of uh, barrels being used offensively like that. It's actually interesting. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if it was that strong in the prior games, but uh, it's a nice option. Like, you take 6%, but... You know, it's very strong. It's in a, It can get you out of some sticky situations and makes for an out-of-shield option that you might not have considered before. Yep, absolutely. Ooh, very nice. Infernape bringing this all the way back. Definitely took advantage of that stock and was tacking on the damage. Now let's see if Infernape could close it out, or will UBL... Oh, all right, you can't be countering mid-stage there. You're going to get punished for that. And your aura wasn't really built up enough for that to have mattered. Yeah. I'm going to go on the limb and say I was a misinput of some sort. Yeah, for sure. Oh, here Ugh. we go. I don't know if the grab would have killed, but that's still good damage. Yeah, for sure. Oh, good catch. Oh, nice. What are you going to do with it? Still has it, I believe. Yep. Okay, not, uh, not going to seal the stock out yet. Oh. Good read on the jump Just like, there. oh, there's a banana up there. I <laughs> wonder if you're going to go for it. Stupid. <laughs> One thing I love about Lucario in this game is just when he's at obscenely high percentages, that aura sphere just looks like a spirit bomb. You know, you just can't, you just can't imagine that it gets that large. <laughs> I do like that Ubiel did not commit to an option immediately because uh, a front ape had about two or three options covered out of shield there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everything stands a grab. Oh, there we go. Okay, Good just the center getting banana peels, as we do. Oh, boy. Things are getting scary. I hear our staff getting very animated oh, over yeah. the raw power. Didn't quite punish that the way he told, but it does not matter because... And Fernape is going to take game two, making sure that uh, there's no game three for him to have another potential heart attack. Yeah, absolutely. And this was just a tale of two situations, you know, mostly Diddy trying to figure out what's happening, but UBL getting the kill there with the side B. Oh, all right. So we got here Diddy Kong doing Diddy Kong things, trying to keep Lucario out there, but calls out the jump, hits him with the up smash. Were all his stocks up smash? 
Uh, no, I th I think a hand. F well, maybe you might be right. Actually, we're gonna find out. Oh, the oh, second yeah, one. There's another one. You <laughs> might be right. Another one. I Oops, just can't get my mind smash. to stop thinking about the dare. Sorry, what Oops, was that? All up smash. Oh yeah. Good call out there by UBL. Did he call him to make a good serial up mascot? I think. <laughs> What, what would his... Uh, like, I, I remember back in the day, there was a um, there was some Nintendo promotional thing. There's a Nintendo cereal, I know, but uh, I never got that around my neck of the woods. But I do remember specifically the GBA version of the first Donkey Kong, like the old one mm. on the box. Could not tell you why that, of all things, is forefront in my mind, but it was a thing. That